Hey everybody, this is Eric with Phone Scoop, and today we're taking a quick spin around the Pantech Swift. It's a new quick messaging device for the AT&T network. It is a sideways slider, but also has a touch screen. The display measures 2.8 inches and has a QVGA display that's 240 by 320 pixels. You can see there, we'll just unlock it real quick. So it's got a uh, interesting little uh, user interface that we'll get to in a second, but I'm going to show you the hardware first. Uh, it's a really small, compact phone. Uh, it's really comfortable. Uh, it's also kind of cute. Um, I like the purple on black design. Uh, it gives it a little bit of a personality, which uh, smartphones are sadly lacking these days. Um, you know, the little purple and uh, and uh, and black is a uh, you know, just looks good, and it's uh, it's compact. It's small. The materials are uh, are nice. It uh, feels like it's well put together. Um, all the uh, seams are solid, and there's no loosey goosiness with it anywhere. It uh, just feels like a really good device. On the left hand side, we've got a volume toggle here, and it has a really good travel and feedback. Uh, nice and easy to find button. On the bottom, you've got nothing, and on the right side, you've got the micro USB port and the screen lock and power button. On the back you can see the uh, the 2 megapixel camera there as long as the grill covering the uh, the ringer and uh, we've got a three and a half millimeter headset jack here on top. Now as I said it is a sideways slider so you have a full QWERTY keyboard and uh, you can just get an idea a little bit of the shape here of this this keyboard. Uh, the keys are pretty good. They um, they have a little bit of a rough surface to them. Um, hard to describe. It's not a soft touch paint job, but it's uh, you know it's not uh, smooth shiny plastic either. It's uh, what I like about the keys is that they're not slippery. Uh, slippery keys uh, you know can uh, can lead to accidental key presses, and uh, these are nice. They've got a very gentle shape to them. And uh, I found that uh, I adjusted to this physical que uh, QWERTY keyboard really easily. Um, in terms of special keys, uh, you know, you've got a, a dedicated .com button here, which uh, is something I always appreciate. Uh, and you've got a quick button here to uh, turn on the uh, the vibrate. Um, other than that, though, there's no special smiley keys or anything like that. Looking at the user interface, um, it's a it's a simple touch-based user interface running on Qualcomm's Brew MP platform, and you've got three home screens here, and these home screens can be uh, you can put a little bit of content on here. So this one, this this home screen of the three is uh, specifically for um, contacts. So if you want, you can add a contact. So we'll we'll put me there on that screen, and you can see how uh, how easy that is, and. Uh, sliding over one. Um, this is the central home screen. This is where you'll see some notifications pop up. And on this one, um, you've got uh, widgets. You can toss some widgets onto this one. Uh, what's really interesting, if you look at this, you'll see that there's a little map of the uh, of the page. So like these, th this little tiny space is not all you have. You can scroll, scroll, scroll. You can see that little green thing on the lower right corner of the screen. So you could actually stuff a lot of little uh, little like widgety type things here so let's see let's go to Bluetooth so we want to add a favorite item okay let's put tools let's put uh, let's put the calendar on there and uh, oh, it's gonna give me trouble here notepad voice memo um, so you can see that you can add things to uh, to these home screens and of course we've got quick access to the phone down here and has a nice touch screen and it supports speed dial which is uh, which is nice on the uh, contacts side of things you've got a pretty pretty big contact database um, and uh, you can uh, of course add in any number of contacts you want edit them and uh, you can see we can put in a photo we can add multiple numbers and email addresses uh, sign ringtones and so on exit out of that We'll go to the main menu, and uh, this is, uh, of course, viewable in uh, in either orientation. And uh, looking at it, you can see there's, uh, again, there's three screens, and you can uh, swipe side to side to get to all of them. 
and uh, it's, uh, it's pretty easy to do. And uh, one of the focuses of this device, if you might have noticed, is uh, messaging. So you've got plenty of social network stuff here. You've got Twitter, Facebook, AT&T Social Net, and you've got MySpace. Now each of these is, uh, a, you know, like a toned down version of the apps. Um, and the AT&T Social Net is its uh, catch-all um, multi-messaging tool. So you have in here you can add your Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter accounts. You can also add your instant messaging accounts such as AIM, Yahoo Live, or Gtalk. Um, those are all available there. And of course we also have a camera. And the camera, it's a 2 megapixel job. Um, and it has a, a pretty decent range of tools. Uh, you can see here you can uh, adjust uh, white balance, effects, timer, um, and, uh, and plenty of other things. Uh, so that's a quick look at the uh, Pantech Swift, a new quick messaging device for AT&T. Uh, it hit stores today, June 10th, and is available for $69.99 uh, after rebate with a new two-year contract.